Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here, and today we actually have to talk about influencers, because some of them are finally getting charged with fraud. This actually tickles me pink. I'm actually really, if you, if you especially if you're a longtime listener of, me, uh, of mine, you know I'm not a big fan of the whole influencer culture BS kind of thing, and here we are. Now this is coming from Fortune. I think it's an important note, so heads up to basically everybody that looks at social media or is interested in things like cryptocurrencies and NFTs. The government on Wednesday, meaning last week, charged eight men of with earning more than $100 million in illicit stock market profits by manipulating their novice investors that were following them on social media. Now, the Justice Department and SEC, or Securities and Exchange Commission, said that from early 2020 to around April of this year, basically these men who had a combined uh, following of over 1.5 million on Twitter ran essentially what is known as a pump and dump scheme. Now, seven of these social media influencers promoted themselves as successful traders on Twitter and in Discord chat rooms and encouraged their followers to buy certain stocks, again, according to the SEC. When uh, the prices or volumes of promoted stocks would rise, the influencers, quote, regularly sold their shares without ever having disclosed their plans to dump the securities while they were promoting them, end quote. And to continue with the agency, and I quote again, the defendants used social media to amass a large following of novice investors and then took advantage of their followers by repeatedly feeding them a steady diet of misinformation. Now, named in this SEC complaint were, and here are their social media Twitter handles, uh, Perry Matlock, or at PJ Matlock, John Ryberscheck, that is at Ultra Calls, Edward Constantin, at Mr. Zach Morris, I believe he is uh, <laughs> a, a, a Say by the Bell fan, Thomas Cooperman at Oh Hey Tommy, and Gary Deal at Notorious Alerts of California, Mitchell Hennessy at Hugh underscore H E N N E of New Jersey, and Stefan Hervatin at Laid Back. Uh, of Florida. That's L-A-D-E-B-A-C-K-K. -K. The second K is for, I don't know, killing me with all the fraud you were committing. I have no idea. Now, an eighth person, Daniel Knight, at Dip Deity of Texas, co-hosted a podcast promoting these defendants as experts and traded in concert with them. The Justice Department said the defendants showcased their quote-unquote extravagant lifestyles to fool others into thinking they were skilled stock traders. If convicted, each faces a maximum penalty of 25 years in prison for conspiracy to commit securities fraud and each charged count of security fraud, according to the department. Constantin also faces a maximum penalty of 10 years in prison if convicted uh, of engaging in unlawful monetary transactions. Now, the SEC fortunately is uh, basically now starting to really crack down on social media influencers and celebrities who promote financial products, including cryptocurrency. In October, the SEC barred Kim Kardashian, uh, I guess famous for being famous, uh, from promoting cryptocurrencies for three years and fined her $1 million to settle federal charges that she recommended a crypto security to her 330 million Instagram followers without making it clear that she was paid to do that. Uh, in 2020, Acton Steven Seagal of 1980s, early 1990s martial arts fame and all around jerk, from what I understand, agreed to pay more than $300,000 as part of a similar settlement with the SEC, which also banned him from promoting investments for three years. In 2018, the SEC settled charges against professional boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr. and music promoter DJ Khaled for failing to disclose payments they received for promoting investments in digital currency. Now, I think it's important to understand that you're going to get influencers promoting products. You're going to get celebrities promoting products. But there's one thing to say, like, you know, Nick drinks Pepsi and you should too, versus, hey, this is basically something that you could make a lot of money on and, and uh, I'm being paid to tell you that. And I think that is one of those things that is so unbelievably important, meaning if I'm sitting there pumping up something saying, oh my God, it's amazing, I'm totally going to invest in this, then one, I have to disclose if I'm being paid by that organization, basically say those things, and two, if I am going to essentially tell all all of my followers, hey, go buy this cryptocurrency, this stock, this whatever, and then I basically short it or or dump it, I guess, um, as uh, as the price rises, not telling anybody that I was getting out. There you go. That's pump and dump. So we have a huge problem with this. I think this influencer thing is absolutely ridiculous. It's just I, I don't I don't know how these people make money or why uh, some of these brands would actually pay for this. And and we've seen some hilarious bombs in this. Meaning like companies have paid tens of thousands of dollars for almost zero return because while the influencer is like, yes, I love product X, here we go. But when we're talking about 
uh, things like um, anything money, anything financial, it's a different animal. You have to be very careful. If FTX, which <clears throat> I will do probably on my next radio show because it's a spectacular, uh, you know, failure of billions and billions of dollars of funneling, uh, you know, basically uh, money of investors into political donations and everything else. I mean, this guy's facing a huge amount of time in prison, assuming he is convicted of this. So I, I think this is going to be uh, something I'm going to be talking about extensively. But please, why are you even listening to, to influencers? Do your homework, do your research. If it's on the financial side, get good qualified financial advisors that have your best interests uh, in place as opposed to somebody online that has a million followers and, hey, look at my Ferrari, so let's all go invest in this and you can have a Ferrari too. That, I think, is utterly ridiculous. People are learning their lessons, but I think these people deserve to be locked up, assuming they are guilty of it, and by all accounts, it seems that they are, but they're going to get their day in court. We shall see, and obviously, I will keep you up to date here. And there you go. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP, and please subscribe to me at YouTube as well. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please Attempt to stay private. Thanks, everybody.